Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. Funko recently announced a partnership with Dunkin' Donuts, and we want to talk about it. Who wants some donuts? So the Super Bowl commercial, Dunk Kings, with mm-hmm. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, uh, Tom Brady, mm-hmm. it was hilarious. It was so funny. Yeah. And following the Super Bowl, a couple weeks, it was like really nice to see Funko jumping on another thing that was pop culture relevant. Right. So they teased like a donut in the shape of a heart. Right. And said like, stay tuned. And everyone's like, oh, shit, are they going to make... The Dunk Kings from the Super Bowl commercial, and I was expecting the three pack, right? Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, and, and Tom Brady. Yeah, and I was like, "This is what they, like what they did with Jason Kelsey. Mm-hmm. They took a pop culture moment, do a pre order. Six months from now, you know it's coming in. They can make as many as are pre ordered, so they're not overproducing. Mm-hmm. Like I love what they did with the Jason Kelsey moment, right, right? from that uh, Bills Chiefs game." And to put it into this, mm-hmm. but that's not what happened. No. So the next day or day after they were like, okay, so we got a partnership with Dunkin' Donuts. Mm-hmm. So you can be a Dunk King mm-hmm. like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Right. And do the outfits. Now you were telling me something about Dunkin' actually offering those outfits after Super Bowl. Oh on yeah. They their were, website. You could buy them. They sold out right away. Like physically for yeah. you to wear. Yeah. Which is hilarious. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. They ever come back in stock. I'm definitely going to jump on that. That's we have too, to. Too like funny. I want those. Yeah. That's too funny. Yeah. So then Funko was like, you can be a Dunk King yeah. and do it as an outfit in Pop Yourself. Right. So if you don't know what Pop Yourself is, we did a whole show about it where you could customize the box, the outfits, the accessories, everything. Mm-hmm. And they teased a two-pack coming soon. We were hoping that that was available because we were going to do a Dunk King's yeah. two-pack. It's not yet. So it's still individual. Right. And you can get the Dunk King's outfit, mm-hmm. hold a coffee and a and a box of donuts, I believe, or at least a donut. Yeah. And the sunglasses like that Matt Damon was wearing, like whole outfits and a Dunkin' Donuts um, customized box. Right. It's great. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see them jumping on pop culture, thinking outside the box. The only thing that worries me is that there's going to be an insane lead time on it. Yeah. Like you might be like, when the hell are you going to get this? So like, these are... Available to do, they launched it, and you could go on the website and yeah. put together your Dunkings uh, pop yourself order, but it's a pre order. Right. Because I assume that they had to get all the licensing, do their partnership with Dunkin' Donuts, right. and then put the outfits into, or the, I guess the body molds, right. with the Dunkings outfit and the accessories into some sort of production, mm-hmm. which we learned from the Jason Kelsey thing was about six months right hopefully it's not that long because it's not a full figure it's just these pieces to do the pop yourself so hopefully hopefully it's not six months i would i would really like to know how pop yourself actually works like how they actually make this stuff like do they actually like is each pop made overseas or is do they have a place like a, a production facility in the United States. I think it's the dom- ship individually. I think it's domestic because it has to be. It have to be, right? Only because you can go to HQ yeah. and literally pop yourself. Yeah. So if they have that at HQ, yeah. I would imagine that all the Funko Pop products we know are done overseas. Yeah. The full figures. Right. That this sort of thing is done in house. Yeah. So maybe the actual figure with the Dunk Kings, like in the Dunk Kings outfit. Yeah, the body. Just, yeah, is made overseas, but then ships. Correct. Like the orders aren't put together overseas. They couldn't because no. it'd be impossible to sort that. And, and they have to do individual orders and they all get individually shipped, right? Yeah, and they all have yeah. individual uh, boxes with right. the, the sticker to put your name on it. Yeah. So I I I think it's done domestically. Yeah, it's it's a great idea. And I'm glad Funko got on it. But again, like the problem is by the time it could be such a long lead time yeah. that it might just have lost its flavor by then, right? So that's the one concern. Yeah. Like I I completely agree. Mm-hmm. I actually thought, okay, well, I was a bit 
despondent, mm-hmm. if you will, mm-hmm. that the three pack wasn't going to exist with Ben Affleck, Mac Damon, and Tom Brady. Yeah. But then I'm like, oh, well, this is something you can get sooner and you put yourself in the dunkings. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm on it. But then it's a pre order. So you're probably waiting the same amount of time yeah. for them to put those bodies with the dunking suits into production. Mm-hmm. So maybe you just should have done the three pack to begin with, capitalize on the pop culture moment. And then ship those out after they're made. I don't know which one would have been better. I could almost guarantee you that there will be a Dunk Kings three pack and yeah. it'll be San Diego Comic Con. I mean, that would be awesome. It'll be a con. They'll do it for a con. Yeah. Tom Brady will be in front of a keyboard. Yeah. The whole thing. It'll be a con thing. I am I I absolutely love that commercial. And if yeah. you haven't seen it, watch it on YouTube. It was the funniest, best Super Bowl commercial from this year. Oh, and this one of the is, funniest commercials in a long time. It's a great thing for Funko yeah. to do again, jo- jumping on a pop culture moment. Yeah, which is what they should be doing. But yeah, transition time from you know wanting to purchase this to actually receiving something. Mm-hmm. I, I will give Funko also props on marketing. Yeah, they got a couple of uh, people that they have relationships with to promote the pop yourself one mm-hmm. was with fluffy everyone loves fluffy and um, they got a good relationship with fluffy yeah? yeah yeah and i'm sure he looks like he enjoys donuts well that's not very and nice. dunk it i'm just <laughs> i don't know that's not nice and like i'm to talk uh and then you like donuts i like donuts <laughs> and then lance bass yeah from uh in sync yeah that actually and yeah. and the little the spots they were in are really funny yeah no, Funko's doing a great job. This, this video feels so weird. We're being positive about this. This is a good thing. All right, we better start. All on right, this. we gotta start. Yeah, we gotta start this video over. We're gonna lose watchable <laughs> hours here. Everybody's like they're they're praising Funko. Wait Delete. You know. No, it's it's great. This is something they have to get on, and maybe this could be something that really brings them. You know, rise yeah. from the ashes of a lot of the mistakes that they've made in the past. But the whole problem is, you're putting a lot of expectation on yourself, and customers are gonna expect. Yeah. Like. Don't like they're gonna expect a lot. If they're waiting six months for this. Yeah, it better be right as well, right? Like if you're gonna, like, people well, have complained about their pop yourself. Yeah, they they, they come they, in wrong. They come yeah. in broken. They're like you know, yeah. so boxes are destroyed. Now, all that kind did, of stuff. Once they launched launched pop yourself, and mm-hmm. there were some mistakes. They did offer, and I I don't agree with the price point, but it's like mm-hmm. eight dollars. Yeah, you'll ship your pop yourself in a hard stack. Right. So at least that's an option now. Mm-hmm. I don't like the price point on it, but at least you know it'll arrive yeah. in better condition. Right. But it's got to be right before it's put into the hard stack. Yeah, it's all broken and the, the, the hat's falling off, the glasses are falling off. Oh, yeah. put it in the hard stack. It's still... <laughs> yeah, it's still... It's got to be right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. But I think in a, in a Dunkin' Donuts um, uh, themed logoed box is a cool idea. Yeah. This is yeah. all a great idea in jumping on and capitalizing on a pop culture moment. But is the turnaround time too far that you're just going to kind of even forget about it. Mm-hmm. And when you receive it, you're like, oh, yeah, that was a funny commercial eight months ago. Yeah. So like the NFTs. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. You and I have done multiple shows on Funko NFTs. And if they had planned it out in advance and they know which redeemables they're going to do, yeah. they make it and then they launch the NFT – more of a, a minimal of the of the actual digital packs, yeah. But the redeemables are spread between those minimal packs. Mm. Then you could buy your packs, open them, yeah, and redeem your redemption right then and there, and they're shipped within a week. Well, yeah, like, that's exactly what happened to us this week. Yeah. We have a U.S. order coming in this week. And I was like, hey, we got some drop IOs there. And you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, I forgot about those. I did. I like, forgot. We literally forgot we had redeemables coming yeah. in, and they're literally just sitting there. And we're like, oh, yeah, we have those. That's and right. It's not even just that, because once they are able to redeem, it does. Yeah. It takes even longer than to ship. Yeah. It's like, here, you're going to redeem. Great. When do I get it? Mm, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I think the Dunkings is such a great idea, and I hope Funko jumps on more pop culture moments. Mm-hmm. But there's got to be it, – it's all and, – and it's hard to shit on them because of this because when a pop culture moment happens, mm-hmm. I mean, things need to be designed, approved. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Produced. Yeah, there's yeah. going to be time. There's lead time. There has to be lead time. Yeah. yeah. So, But what's the appropriate amount of lead time and was this 
the right way to do it. Yeah, exactly. So what do you guys think? Tell us, would you have been happier with the three pack and a pre-sale like the Jason Kelsey thing and then get it six months later or the pop yourself and who knows when you're going to get those? Which one would you have wanted to see? Are you happy that Funko's doing more stuff like this? Tell us in the comments. We want to hear from you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fish. K-Dog. See you again soon. Dumb Kings.